Hey everybody, it's Louie with Jaffram, where the motorcycle gear experts are available 24-7 to answer any of your motorcycle gear related questions. And today we're taking a closer look at a few of the models and their features from the popular hybrid helmet category, available at Jaffram.com. A hybrid helmet is a helmet that has the features and functionality of more than one helmet category at the same time, like a half or a three-quarter helmet that can be made to protect your face, or a modular helmet that can be used as an open face at speed. Now, these are the Swiss Army knives of the motorcycle helmet world. To see any of the helmets we're about to look at in greater detail, check out the individual item product overviews at jaffram.com. Now the first helmet I want to show you is the Bell Rogue. This is one of the models that really put hybrid style helmets on the map. And this is a half helmet that features a removable and adjustable muzzle that can be added to the helmet to offer some additional protection for the face. Now to be clear, this muzzle will protect your face from the elements and road debris, but not from an impact. But it's still a giant step up from just a do-rag. And these are also a good solution for a cold weather rider that doesn't like the look of a full face helmet. And the muzzle is very easy to use. You simply attach the straps to the muzzle and insert the straps into the clips on the helmet. Press the muzzle gently against your face. And once you have the muzzle straps adjusted, all you have to do is lift the muzzle on or off. Like a regular half helmet, eye protection is going to be your choice. You can wear small framed goggles or sunglasses, whatever you prefer. The next model I have for you today is the Shark Raw helmet. Now, this helmet is hugely popular right now for both its looks and its functionality. But I see both pros and cons with this design compared to the Rogue. Now, the first difference to consider is protection. The Shark Raw is a true three-quarter style helmet, so you get coverage and protection for the brain stem. Now, this is the part of the brain in the back of the neck that controls heart and lung function. It's kind of important. Also, because the goggles fill up the eye port, the Raw is more aerodynamic, so there's less buffeting at higher speeds. To the Rogue's credit though, its muzzle is far easier to install than the RAW's goggle and mask setup. The RAW requires the removal of these side covers, and the strap to goggle connections are kind of a pain. There are photos of the RAW with the goggle system pulled up and resting on the forehead of the helmet, indicating that removal isn't necessary for a quick breath. But I don't think you could stretch these straps like that too many times before they got all stretched out. Now one of the nice things about the process of choosing between these two models is that the solid colors are very similar in price, so you can make your decision based on the features that are the most important to you, and less on how much the helmet costs. The next two helmets I want to compare for you are from the rapidly growing segment of helmets with removable chin bars. Now, this is the Vega Stealth Phantom, and this is the G-Max GM67S. <music> They're open face or three quarter style helmets with face shields that feature removable chin bar systems. And the best way to compare these two models is going to be breaking the comparison into three parts. Features, quality, and price. And the first thing to note when choosing between these two is that the chin bar on the G-Max is an additional accessory. It doesn't come with the helmet. Even with the extra purchase though, the G-Max is still quite a bit cheaper, as long as you remember to order the chin bar when you order your helmet and avoid the extra shipping. Now both systems install easily with a similar installation process. To install the chin bar, you just line up the tabs and press the chin bar against the helmet. To remove, just locate the buttons. On the Vega, they're on either side of the eye port. On the G-Max, they're on the underside of the bottom of the chin bar. And there are a couple of areas where the Vega's chin bar system wins. First, the chin bar is painted to match the helmet color. The G-Max chin bar comes in black only. Also, the G-Max chin bar comes with a fixed breath box, which is great for cold weather riding but can be pretty claustrophobic in hot weather, so it'd be nice if it was easily removable. I think the G-Max wins as a helmet overall though. In addition to the cheaper price, the build quality and ventilation are much better. The liner is higher quality, and the helmet is equipped with a rear light setup that can be synced to your taillight operation with the addition of the G-Max brake light kit. It's pretty fancy stuff. The last couple helmets I want to show you are more typically put in the modular helmet category, but unlike most modular helmets, these two models can be worn with the rider's face exposed at speed, making them three-quarter full-face hybrids.
A most modular helmet chin bars sit on the top of the helmet when raised, which creates a very top-heavy helmet that buffets terribly at speed. And the Shark Evil Line 3's chin bar rotates all the way to the rear of the helmet, allowing the helmet to retain its aerodynamic profile and low center of gravity. Now, the Scorpion X0900 Transformers chin bar can be completely removed, creating a true open face style helmet. Now, the Evil Line is a slightly higher end helmet than Scorpion, but that reflects in the price. The Scorpion retails for over $150 less than the Shark does. The Shark's chin bar is definitely easier to use though. It's a quick one button procedure that can be performed easily with the helmet on. You need to take the Scorpion off of your head to swap out the chin bar for the visor and there's hardware on both sides of the helmet that need addressed. Now, the Shark's also a bit lighter than the Scorpion, partly because of the design and partly because of the materials used. The Eveline is constructed of a very lightweight injection molded thermoplastic. The EXO900 or XO900 is made of a heavy duty polycarbonate. Now don't get me wrong though, the XO900 is an excellent helmet with some excellent features, especially considering its affordability. It has Scorpion's Air Fit Pump to Fit system, which allows you to inflate the cheek pads to customize the fit, and I also really like the liner. The quick wick material Scorpion uses is very comfortable. And there are also some similarities between the two models. Both helmets feature an interior drop down visor that's easier to use and excellent ventilation. There you have it, six popular helmets from the growing hybrid helmet category. To check out more excellent motorcycle helmets, subscribe to this YouTube channel, Jaff from Videos, or click the link below to go to our website. We value your opinion, so don't forget to leave your comments on any of our videos or our Facebook page. And remember, when it comes to our customers, we'll ride the extra mile. I'm Louie, and you'll see me next time.